Unbelievable, my wonderful people, the truth is beginning to come out and it's quite scary if you ask me. It's really shocking uh, because the evidences are beginning to show. See reactions as Shea Wusani reveal that Kaduna Imam says they all got 10 million naira each to promote the same faith ticket so that none of them will speak against it. They told them, don't you want you know, this place to be for us, that some persons pay them. And guess what? The governor of Kaduna State is not far from the equation. You know him now, your brother, Erufai, is in the midst of the whole equation as well, very much in the midst of the equation. So they got to pay, you know, every, you know, almost all the um, APC governors were paying 10, 10 million naira each. Imagine an imam that have not seen that kind of money. <clears throat> was given 10 million naira. Don't say anything about the same faith ticket. Just be quiet. Can you imagine that the president and the vice president of the same faith, just imagine that, you know, we are the one in charge. And, you know, they, they all got 10 million naira each just to circumvent the will of the people, to put down the hand of the people. And guess what? When you do things like that, you think that you have quenched, question, you have quenched the voice of the majority. It's only a matter of time. It will come crumbling. It takes time, you see. That's why some people will wonder, ah, why did God not just smash that thing? When he saw that this person was a devil, why did he not just do that? Oh, he's not a, God is not a man. Men would think that they are smart, that they are wise, that they have, let's get all the details. But God is not a man, you see now. Reactions as She Usani revealed that Kaduna Imam says they all got 10 million naira each to promote the same faith ticket. The senator from Kaduna State, She Usani, has made a revelation from what he said. He watched in a video. The senator said in a video, a prominent Islamic clergy in Kaduna State said that all imams of the mosque in the state, including himself, received the sum of 10 million naira each to propagate the promotion of same faith ticket for the election that just took place. He said that the path the country is currently touring is dangerous. This is not my word, so said it's dangerous. Reacting to what he said, a Twitter user, comrade, said, what Shea Usani said is the revelation that he watched in an in he watched an entire sermon. Someone else said that religion is not what is taking the country to development. And has and has it been it's with the way of religion, like in China, Korea, what would have we wouldn't have been languishing in poverty. Another person said that what pastors from various parts of the country did by telling their members to vote for Peter Obi is it not the same thing? And the debate continue. Recall that Bola Ahmed Tinubu picked Kashem Shatima as his running mate. Christian leaders reacted as they said that Tinubu did not do not proactively think about fairness equality. Tinubu ran with the same faith ticket and won the election according to INEC declaration. So this is what is happening right about now, my people. And many people, many persons are of the opinion that what has happened is totally unnecessary. What has happened is totally unfair and that it should not have been in, you know, it should not have been anything that Nigerians, you know, should be experiencing at all. You know why? Nigeria is a country that is, you know, predominantly we have not just one faith, okay? That is a predominant uh, mm -hmm. faith, like you know, somewhere like you know, in the in the in the uh, what's it called now? In the eastern part of the world, you know, where we have like you say you are going to a place like uh, like Dubai, Abu Dhabi. You don't. Do you understand? It's a different ball game altogether. But in Nigeria, we have mixed. Then you come to Nigeria and you try to make it look like you know. This is really. This is really not fair. So these are some of the things that have happened, and Nigerians are very, very skeptical, wondering what next will happen since these things, you know, have have now like you know allowed like a very serious issue going on. You know, people are watching. The world is watching to see how Nigerian government, you know, had, are dealing with some of these things. They are watching. Everybody's watching. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. So it is a matter of urgent attention, okay? It is a matter of urgent attention that we do what is needed and necessary to get Nigeria right back on track and save the course of what is going on today. If we continue to allow things to go 
without us saying anything really particular for truth, then there is issues. There are really issues. Okay, so we must all rise up to it and ensure that we do everything needed and necessary to change the course of what is going on here and now. Nigerians, don't forget, every time we neglect the opportunity for truth, every time we, we, we accept wrongdoing and we pretend that it's not happening, we have just given ourselves away. Yes, we have just given ourselves away. Remember that the onions is on us to ensure that the truth is done. Okay? So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. So let us speak out against everything and anything that could possibly put us behind. The nation is bleeding today because those that should take responsibility have not done so. What are you doing? What am I doing? What are we doing? Are we just going to sit back there and pretend that all is well when we know we should really be working, when we know we should really be taking, taking you know, the right step in ensuring that truth is being dispensed? So these are some of the challenges that we are faced with and why we cannot afford to be silent and allow things to continue just the way they are. Remember, every time we neglect the opportunity of truth, we have left ourselves to chance. Okay? Remember what is going on right now. Remember that every single one of us must do everything humanly speaking possible to bring us to a position of truth and change the course of what is happening. If really, you know, these people who are coming up to tell us that they, 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 are, they are working for us as a nation and as a people, what are we doing to ensure that they serve us well? You receive 10 million naira and then you go ahead and circumvent the will of the people. And you don't know, say God, they ever be. You don't know. Well done. No worry. One day you come, you go pay. When you go take pay, say, you don't go understand that. You go pay. Oh. Now time, trust me, you go pay. Now time, you go take. I they tell you, trust, just trust me on that. You go pay. Yes. Anyway, my people, now so you see the matter. We they hear different, different story now. They come out every day. So they give, say, well, say they give them for 10 million. And not they deal, but now we tell the year. So she was signing, was a friend, uh, former senator, and they just say, now waiting uh, APC, they do. You know, so they give all of them for the most 10, 10 million naira. Ah, God have mercy. God have mercy. Can you see things that we are going through in this nation? Well, yes, some people know they say they're the same party. You know, so you did place where we say truth, not they dispense. You know, say lies, fool the place, and yet you quiet. It is where. It is where. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.